Hey, I'm Wesley. Welcome to episode two of Vimtrix. So in this episode of Vimtrix, we're going to talk about the filter command. The filter command, uh, you can look at the help pages in Vim. Uh, Help filters. No, help filter. Um, uh, and what it does, you can read this, but I'll just explain it to you. What it does is it uh, takes uh, uh, text that you select inside of Vim, and it sends it through some external program uh, on the Unix command line, for example, to uh, modify it, and then send it, it sends it back into Vim. So uh, first, uh, let's understand kind of how text can be manipulated on the command line. So take, for example, this file that we have here. Um, I can use a command in Linux, for example, the sort command, to uh, pipe the input from one command into the sort command, which will sort it alphabetically by default, but there's other parameters you can pass in, and then sends the output to standard out. So the way we can use this in Vim is uh, we can select all of this text in Vim. So you can do that by going to visual line mode by pressing Shift V, and then selecting all of that text. And then you uh, go to command mode by pressing colon, and then press exclamation point and the command. So you send it to the sort command. And this will send that text you selected into the sort command and then Vim takes the output of that and puts it uh, in its place in Vim. So uh, let's let's do that again in a different file. So I've got this Python class here. Um, so I can do the same thing here. Uh, another way to select text in Vim, I'll show you in the help file, uh, there's different ways to use the filter command. Um, one is by pressing exclamation point, doing a motion, and then typing the filter command. So what that means is uh, a, a motion in Vim is a, uh, you know, a, a, a series of commands you send to Vim to select text. So let's, uh, as an example, we hit exclamation point, and then 4J, which selects uh, four lines in the J direction or down in Vim, and then you type the command. So let's say sort. Okay, so it sorted, but as you can see, it only sorted the four lines that were selected. So uh, if I wanted to do all six of these lines, I would do exclamation point, 6J, and sort, and that'll sort all the lines. So another uh, handy command that is on the Linux command line is the column command. Uh, and you can output text, you can take text from standard input and sort it, or, or, or I guess organize it by columns and then send it to, to uh, standard output. I do this a lot with CSVs or even tables in readmes. Uh, you know, when they're rendered in a readme, they get uh, output as a table, but it's helpful when you're looking at the text version for them to be organized as a table. But uh, you can do that even with, for example, code like this. If you want to take all of this text and uh, you know, sort it where the equal signs are all lined up, you could uh, select the text and then send it to the column command, pass the table parameter, and that'll organize all of that text by columns. And then obviously you'll need to uh, move that over. Uh, but uh, yeah, those are a couple different commands that you can use uh, to filter text with. Uh, so I'm curious, let me know in the comments, what are common commands that you use on the command line to filter text? Uh, try them out in Vim and let me know. Um, so anyway, uh, that's about all that we'll talk about in this video, and we'll see you next time in Ventrix. Mm-hmm.